Hello once again, it's time for some more Lost Kingdoms. Last time, if you missed it, we went through the burial grounds, lots of skeletons, and uh, we're still fo uh, following our father, King Theobane. And he went through the Shale Passage, which is some sort of sewer that leads to a castle. But we're not doing that today. Today we're actually going to go do um, that place that Gerd told, told us about, which is the Gromtol Desert. Uh, so before we head there, let's go ahead and check our buildings here, our stores. See if Alexander has anything for us yet. And then see if there's anything Gerd can do for us. Then we'll head out to the desert. What's up, weirdo? Mm-hmm. Trade fairies. Oh, nice. We had exactly enough, I think. Oh, we, we just needed five more. I thought he meant that we needed to bring him ten more, but we just needed ten total. So if we get five more, then we'll get another gift. Banshee from him. Nice. I think a banshee is what killed me last time. Cool. Shoots a bolt of energy, carries a curse effect. Some of the health drained from victims will be returned as experience points. That's cool. Thanks, Alexander. He's just talking about how much he loves fairies. Okay, let's go check in with Gerd. Banshee's nice. Alright, so I don't think she's going to tell us anything new. Because we haven't gone to the desert yet. Wait, are you telling me about capture? Now she's not. Tell me about it again. Ugh, okay. Well, anyway, I didn't read it because I was skipping through it really quickly, but I think that if I hold L when I try to use a card, I will throw it out, and you can actually catch monsters in it like a Pokeball. Um, I was waiting for someone to tell me how to do that, but nobody has so far, so there you go. Um, we can give that a try and see if it's a way to get uh, some extra cards or, you know, monsters that you don't have yet. Uh, let's see. Before we head off, should we transform something? We can turn a mandragora into an archer tree. I kind of I remember that one. I don't know if it's good or not. Man trap. Besides the caterpillar, we now have enough to turn into a crystal rose, which is pretty cool. I remember those. Uh, I don't know if I want to do any transformations yet, because a lot of these cards we're going to pick up naturally as the game goes on. So it's like, do I want to spend that experience to get something a little early, or do I want to save it? to potentially get something better? That's the question. And some of these are just for cards we already have. Oh, we can turn our Dragonite into a Ghost Armor. I remember Ghost Armor being pretty good. But we're gonna get some later, you know? And I only have the one Dragonite, I think, so... We'll just hold on to it for now. For now! Alright, let's hit the desert. It's going to be earth and wood, so we want wood and fire. Is, that's what we brought last time, right? So our deck's pretty well set up. Is there anything new that I want to bring, though? Another fairy, maybe, would be helpful. Bring the Wraith, because that's new. Oh yeah, let's bring the Banshee. Take out one of my man traps. Banshee in. Skeleton out, put in a ghoul. Okay, that's good. We'll try that. Let's head into the desert. This barren region of blowing sand is said to contain a fantastic treasure. Many have been lured into the desert. Few have returned, and we have to defeat the sandworm. Sounds fun. Okay. We've got a nice looking desert here. Some sort of oasis. And a rock that goes into the ground. What did that do? I heard something else move. But I don't know what it did. 
But we definitely want to find that fantastic treasure. That's for sure. I haven't seen anything so far. Except... What is that, a scythe beast? Looks like it. Alright. Don't have a great starting hand here. Get a man trap. Oh, they're so good. I didn't remember man traps being particularly interesting, but they're really paying off this time. They really get the job done. Ah, Red Fairy. Somewhere in this desert, there's a fabulous treasure. Lots of people have come looking for it, but no one has ever found it. Until today, when I find it. Hopefully. What does that do? Is it like a trail? Like that first one's still down? Yeah. And then we hit the second one, so now there should be a third one. And what is this big cloud of stuff? Something I have to fight? Ah, sandworm! Is this the boss? I hope not. I've still got treasure to find, you know? I don't know. Yeah! 30 damage. That's a lot of health. I do seem to remember this thing. Hit it with that pig belly. Oh, okay, I ran away. Okay, so we probably have to fight it off a couple of times before we actually kill it. That's my guess. Really jam into this desert theme, though. What do you got, mummy? And... Another mummy. I haven't found mummies too particularly useful yet, but... They might uh, have their time to shine in the future. There's the sandworm again. What do we got? Ah! It's a carbuncle! Look at it, it's unstoppable! I just like saying carbuncle. It's fun. That word and uh, pile bunker, which I don't even know what that means, but I also like saying that. Good words. Skeleton. Don't give up, skeleton. Let's fight the sandworm again. Ah, so maybe it's like every 50 damage it'll run away. Cockatrice! Oh, God, it's so strong. It hit three times and petrified it. Wow. That is a good card. If we have the opportunity to make some more of those, that's probably a good idea. Alright, what am I... Why is this cactus yellow? Am I supposed to destroy it? I'm gonna try. I don't want to use my cockatrice. Let's use this. Try and hit the cactus. Wow! Hmm. There we go. Okay, yeah, there was another pillar back there. 
Ugh, pig belly. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to use any of these cards on a carbuncle. I guess I'll use the, uh, Wraith or whatever this is. Let's see what you do. Ice Storm, way out there, totally missed. Oh, he dodged. How dare you dodge the bird. Ugh, there we go. Alright, one thing, a tip for you if you ever play this. When you're in this Monsters Defeated screen, you can still walk around the whole arena. So, if there's something dangerous or you want to avoid a lot of battles, you know, you could run all the way to the edge before continuing. Um, or, you know, go wherever you're wanting to go before you proceed. And you won't run into any random fights on the way. Okay, let's hit that. It does something. Pushes another one up, I guess. Come here. Another fairy. Let's add some cards in. Those orcs are not too bad. Like, you have to be really close, but the the damage is not too bad. Oh. Oh, okay. So we have to hit four of those stones. There's one other one, and the fourth one will open this door. And I wonder if the fantastic treasure is in there. So it's just four switches to open it. I got you. Just gotta find that last one. Have you seen the switches? Oh yeah. I just figured that out. You guys again. Whoops. Ugh. Mummy attack. I suppose if we get a monster really low, I should try to catch it, right? Because, like, imagine getting a free side beast instead of transforming one of our cards. But unfortunately, the skeleton is just too strong. That's okay. Canthropy. Got this, which is blocked by pillars. I, I don't know if it's actually an exit or just nothing. Stop running away from me. All right, I'd like to blast both of you with this cockatrice. You'll get close enough. I'll take it. Ugh. Come here, skeleton. I'm body blocking for you. Well, that didn't work. Oh. Totally rolled under that. Banshee. I can't even hit him. He's too short. Okay. Not a great use of this card, but I guess that's all I got. He's gonna miss because he's so slow. Ugh. Stinks. And I have no crystals because I can't hit this thing.
There we go. Didn't think it would be so tough. Alright, what is over here? Oh, another uh, deck point. Some more cards for us. Side of the Beast, there you go. Another one. And a Sea Monk, okay. Cool. Add those in. Alright, we're still looking for the fourth switch. It should be yellow on the map. Might be up here. Alright, Side of the Beast. Probably shoot out one of those spinning blades. Yep. Oh, blocked by the rock. Want to try to capture something just for fun. I don't know if I can hit this thing, it moves really fast. Oh, I couldn't see it. It went by my cards. Hold still. And die. Okay. Did I get it? I think it worked. I got him low. I held down L, I threw the card and hit him. Pretty sure he got captured. Yes! Free card! So if we see something really good, we should try to catch it. Another cool mechanic. Okay, here's another cactus that we need to destroy. Perfect. Got into a fight. What was that? What is that? Some sort of weird monkey? I don't know. All right, well, we have to slap this cactus, for sure. Ugh. That's the last piece of the puzzle. Now, what is going on over here? What the heck is this? There's a mummy that I could capture, but I don't really want another mummy. 60 health, what is this? All right, we're gonna get some cards back. Sea Monk. Nice, I got like five back. Thank you very much. What are you? Should we try to catch it? Oh, it confused me. My controls are backwards. Come here. Ah, it flipped away. Stop! I can't, I can't hit it. Get off the hill. I'm gonna need you to hold still. Ay, ay, ay. I hate you. Nope, it hurt it a little bit, but it didn't catch it. It's not low enough. I wanna try and get it, though. Stop! Alright, one more should do it. I'm throwing away cards doing this, but I, I just wanna do it. There it is. What did I get? Trickster, no kidding. I did not remember that guy at all. Have you heard about the sandworms? They don't like to stay and fight it out. <laughs> but eventually they'll get mad and we can kill it. Stupid fairies. I'm gonna go up on the hill where you can't reach me.
I can't... Ugh, it's very slow to climb up then. Nice. Thank you. Just burn this to kill this thing. Stupid fairies are always leading me astray. Okay, we're gonna hit this thing. That should open the door. Before we go after that uh, sandworm. I don't even know if that's the last one or not. Maybe we should look around a little more. Is this a card just laying on the ground? Gotta have that. Ha! Carbuncle, I can hit you now. Boom! Jumping around. What is this? A sand beetle? Nice. Alright, I'm a little lost. Where am I? Here's the point. Okay. That means the door is just over there. I am running low on cards. I don't know what happens when you run out. Do you just die? I can't see. Squat! What am I? Okay, there we go. Zoom in a little bit. Like, am I just supposed to figure this out blind? Carbuncle! Is this the great treasure? Ooh, Crystal Rose. There we go. And another Carbuncle. That was a good treasure. I liked all of that. Oh, and we can zoom out too. That's helpful. All right, let's add these, and we'll head over to the worm area. Yeah. I like it. So I'm gonna check around this side to make sure there's nothing we missed before we fight the worm. Oh, is that the sand beetle? If I remember, I think I like it a lot, which is great. Ugh. Side Beast is really putting in the work. A lot of, uh, lots of experience this time. Oh, okay, this is the edge, so. We'll get these two, and then that might be the last worm. Unless it moves again. Sand Beetle. Yeah, I remember, I remember a few monsters from this. Carbuncle, of course. Um, and what it, what you can transform it into, which I don't remember the name of it, but we'll see it later. Sand beetle, if I remember, it like digs through the ground and comes up and like bites things, which I liked. And then there's also land sharks, which we haven't seen yet, but those were always my favorite. All right, let's see what you got. Ow! Trickster, let's see what you can do. It petrified it. Wow! How did you do that? 450 experience for that thing. Wow. I, uh... Okay, that wasn't the last one, but he just flat out killed it. Jeez. Can I look at that thing? Emits a mysterious sound wave that will produce one of six conditions. Poison, paralysis, charm, curse, petrification, or death. <laughs> wow, okay, so that thing is good. Could it have killed me with one hit? I guess it's possible. Jeez, that thing is good. So it just hops around and it was just like, you're stoned now, now you're dead. Trickster don't care. Jeez. All right. 
We're learning all sorts of stuff. Get that out of the way. And then let's try the sand beetle. I think it'll... Yeah, it like crawls around and then pinches things. Which I think is pretty fun. Pinch him! Yeah! Big pincers. I like it. Some of these monsters are really coming out of nowhere. Okay, here's another worm. We'll go ahead and recharge. Because why not? You better watch out. So I, I still have the trickster. So I don't even think it was supposed to kill him last time. Like, we were supposed to do 50 damage and it would leave. But the trickster's just like, no, you die. All right, get up there and kill him. I'll distract him. Turn to stone. Now, shoot him. He's like poisoned or something. I don't know. It's that's crazy. This one's not leaving. We're we just gonna kill it. Stone. Dead. This thing's crazy. I don't remember ever using it. Clearly, I should have. Jeez. Is that it? Oh, yeah. Wow. What a crazy level. And we found the treasure. And we got. Oh, yes! We got a sand beetle and the sandworm. That's awesome. Great haul today, everyone. Very exciting. Okay, let's go talk to Gerd real quick and see if she gives us another place. Okay. Here's what she said earlier. I will read it to you. It's time to learn how to do a capture throw. Uh, press the L button in combination with one of the card buttons. If it hits an enemy, it will cause a tiny amount of damage. If it kills it, we'll seal the enemy in the card, which we did do a couple of times. Um, it won't work on everybody. You need at least one magic stone. And then, yeah, if, you know, whether it's successful or not, that card is, is not gone permanently, but, like, out of your deck for that level. So you can't just do that all the time. You'll run out of cards. Okay, wow. What a, this, that level turned out to be much crazier than I thought. Um, but that's it for, for today. All these levels are taking longer than I expect, so thanks for sticking it out and hanging out with me. Hope you're having fun. I'm having a lot of fun. This game, it it doesn't it doesn't look like much, but it's really fun to play, and I really like it. So we'll do more next time. I'll see you then.